Hi, I'm Denise Landis and I am going to show you how to cook shishito peppers so easily you're going to be snacking on these all the time. All you need for this recipe are shishito peppers. You can grow them in your garden, you can get them in the supermarket, you can get them at specialty food markets. But with shishito peppers, it's a little bit like Russian roulette. Sometimes they're very hot, most of the time they're pretty mild, once in a while they're not hot at all. It's worth taking a chance on occasionally getting a really hot pepper, especially if you don't mind hot peppers, because they are absolutely delicious and very, very easy to prepare. You're going to want to cook the peppers in a heavy-duty skillet. Cast iron pan is ideal. And place it over high heat because you want it to get very, very hot. Add the peppers. And let them sit so that they sear and blacken on the undersides. The peppers can be cooked in a completely dry pan. No oil is necessary. You can see the steam rising up from the peppers and toss them fairly often so that they blacken on all sides. As the peppers sear, sometimes there'll be a little bit of spitting as they expand and a little air escapes and they become blackened but not blackened over the entire surface. And when a pepper looks like this, that's good. That's what you're looking for on all sides. As the peppers blacken and begin to collapse, that's when you can transfer them to a dish. Serve the peppers with an aioli dipping sauce. It could be spicy. You can purchase sauce or you can make your own flavored as you wish with garlic, lemon, or chipotle pepper. Thanks for joining me for One Minute Maven. For more tips, look for us on YouTube.